Who's so list to hunt? I know her as a hind. But as for me, alas, I may no more. The vain travail hath worried me so sore. I am of them that furthest come behind. Yet, may I by no means my worry. I did not order this, but I will drink it. Compliments of the young lady. Fainting, I follow. I leave off therefore. Since in a net I seek to hold the wind. As that meeting was pretty rough. I figured you might need some uh, liquid courage. As well as I. I don't actually know who you are. You're just some person who has mutual Facebook friends with me or something. I'm Georgia Roberta Greenfield. I'm a first year student at Bankside. And I'm a big fan of your work. Apple? Uh, no outside food. And wild food. Or knives. Important meeting tomorrow morning. Meeting? Yes, a meeting. I do have a meeting to attend tomorrow in Perry. You're not gonna go? But it sounded like Palamon was gonna start the movie. The end of the Faustus script is like a mix between Footloose and Faustus. Not even Faustus. They want to name it Dr. Foster. So it's more palatable for the American audience. But if you stay involved, you can make changes. And even if they call it Dr. Foster afterwards, you'll be free to do whatever you want. I would like to invite the surreally talented Christina Marlowe up to the stage, please. Yeah. What's your costume? A magic Mac, stripper king of Scotland. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow cannot possibly equal the delight of watching Chris Marlowe drunkenly declaim slam poetry in public, Georgina. Stupid Shakespeare garbage face. What? Georgia. My name is Georgia. Come live with me and be my love. And we will all the pleasures prove that hills and valley, dale and field and all the At last, the full potential of drunken Marlow is unleashed. <laughs> last year's Halloween thing, she just did this sassy translation of Ovid. Where's Ben anyway? Well, apparently she was spent all day trying to get a fake ID. Uh, but she was thwarted by uh, sexy Mephistopheles over there. Oh, man, I wish you'd known about this earlier. Ben would love this. You know, I wish I'd known earlier too. I'm working on a sonnet that I'd like to share with everyone. A sonnet? Oh, how retro, Mr. Shakespeare. Oh, I don't think it's retro at all. In fact, I'm using the sonnet form to deconstruct the uh, sugary verbiage of the traditional love poem. I think I'm ahead of my time, unfortunately. And this deconstructed love poem. Is it dedicated to anyone in particular? That lady whose calls you keep ignoring, perhaps? <laughs> well, are they like together now? Marlo and Tom? Yeah. They first met during their first year at Bankside. They've been on and off ever since. That explains why he always sits in on our seminar class. He's kind of full of himself. Did you read his book? The Spanish Tragedy? No. It was some small press thing. I couldn't get my hands on it. He finished it a little before Chris finished Faustus. At the time, Professor Tudor thought that it would get a lot more attention, but Tom wasn't interested at shopping around to publishers. How do you know all this? I know everything, Will Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. 
sigh no more, ladies sigh no more. Men were deceivers ever. Then sigh no. Converting all your sounds of woe into hate.